Why is AirPods not working with Zoom? Many Mac owners complained that they couldn't use their AirPods with Zoom. How to disconnect your AirPods from other devices. First, unpair your AirPods from any other devices they may be connected to. The quickest way to do this is simply to disable the Bluetooth feature on the other devices. This way, your AirPods will only connect to your Mac. Set up your AirPods in Zoom's audio settings. To use your AirPods with Zoom, you'll need to set up the earbuds directly in Zoom's audio and speaker settings. Connect your AirPods to your MacBook and make sure the pairing was successful. Press the pairing button on the back of the AirPods case. Wait for the light to start flashing white. Go to Apple System Preferences. Click the Bluetooth icon and make sure your AirPods are visible in your connected devices list. Launch Zoom and click on Zoom.us. Then select Settings. Click Audio. This indicates Zoom is using your AirPods to render audio and record audio input. Allow Zoom to access your microphone. Make sure you set up the correct permissions on your Mac to allow Zoom to access your microphone. It's worth noting that Mako's will now prompt you to authorize Zoom to use your microphone and camera. Without these permissions, Zoom cannot access your microphone and camera. Click on the Apple menu. Go to System Preferences. Then click Security and Privacy. Select the Privacy tab. Click the lock icon to unlock setting changes. Select the microphone. Check the Zoom box to allow the program to use your microphone. Delete your Zoom folder under Application Support. If the problem persists, try deleting the Zoom folder under Application Support. To access the library, press the Option key and click on the Go menu while holding the Option key. Go to Library Application Support Select Zoom. Sometimes this folder can get corrupted. Deleting should fix the problem. However, if the problem persists, try uninstalling Zoom after deleting this folder. Download and install the program again. Check if you can now use your AirPods on Zoom. Additional solution, first of all, make sure your AirPods are charged enough. If not, put both AirPods into the charging case and charge for at least 10 minutes to direct the wall plug using Apple's original lightning cable. Otherwise, you can reset AirPods to connect with Mac. In this case, AirPods disconnected from Mac automatically and connected to another Apple device. To prevent this auto pairing tip, turn off Bluetooth on your nearby iPhone iPad and enjoy an uninterrupted Bluetooth connection to your AirPods. Connecting the AirPods to the MacBook As a reminder, there are so many things you can do with the AirPods. However, once you've paired your AirPods with your iPhone, you should know a few things before pairing them with your MacBook. Your AirPods are ready to use with your Mac if you've already connected them to your iPhone. Here are the steps you need to follow when your AirPods are paired with iPhone before connecting them to your MacBook. Take the AirPods out of their case. Choose AirPods from the sound controls option in your Mac's menu bar. If your AirPods aren't connected to your iPhone, you can connect them to your Mac. How to connect AirPods to iPad. Open the AirPods case cover with your AirPods. When the status light is flashing white, you can either press and hold the setup button on the back of the case or the noise control button. Choose Apple menu greater than system preferences, then Bluetooth on your Mac. In the devices list, choose AirPods. If your AirPods support it, click enable to use Siri with your AirPods by saying hey Siri. When asked how you'd like to improve Siri and dictation, choose one of the following options. Audio recordings to be shared. Allow Apple to save the audio recordings of Siri and dictation interactions on this Mac by clicking share audio recordings. Apple may examine a sample of the stored audio data. Audio recordings shouldn't be shared. Choose the not now menu. Check or uncheck the improve Siri and dictation box in the analytics and improvements section of the privacy options when you click share audio recordings. Change AirPods noise control mode from Mac. You can toggle between noise canceling and transparency modes when listening to audio from your Mac with AirPods Pro or AirPods Max. After you click the AirPods Pro or AirPods Max icon in the menu bar or control center, choose one of the following options. Outside noise is blocked by noise cancellation. The transparency lets you hear what's going on around you. Off. Both noise cancellation and transparency are disabled. Clear browser cache. If you wonder why is AirPods not working with Zoom, clear the browser cache. If you are using Zoom in the browser, the audio issues may be caused by the browser. Selecting speakers in Zoom. If you have multiple speakers connected to your computer, Zoom may be using the wrong speaker, but you can easily fix that. During a meeting, click the arrow next to the microphone icon in the bottom left. 
then select the correct speaker under speakers. Thank you for stopping by. If you found value in this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about all things in sound technology, subscribe to our channel and visit audioambition.com.